Okay, so today we're going to be talking about social media, all right? Uh, my question today is, do you think social media ruins relationships? Um, it's if you're stupid enough to get caught. <laughs> if you're cheating your girlfriend, hey, don't let your girlfriend know your fucking own password. Yeah, that's the start move. Yes, yes. You know, um, social media, um, it, can it can ruin a lot of things, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. definitely, yeah. 100%. You know, you know already, bro. Mm -hmm. You know already. Yeah. Don't leave it on when she's there. Turn that shit off. And, um, yeah, obviously, if you want to be faithful, then you haven't got any issues. Uh -huh. But if you are going to cheat, then um, be discreet about it, yeah. Do you think social media ruins relationships? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, he just... <laughs> I think people cheat more nowadays than they did before. Yeah, people get caught more because there's more um, ways they can get caught. Yeah, I was, I was yeah, back I in the day, you're in the 1950s. Oh yeah, you got lipstick on your collar or whatever. Now it's like, oh my god, I can see dick pics. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Is this personal experience or <laughs> very bad personal experience in it? So yeah, <laughs> it does does ruin relationship. It does, man. Everybody's in your business, man, and it's as soon as you change our relationship status to something like in our relationship with this person. Gets it's messy, over, man. Everybody knows, man. It blows yeah, up. Yeah, it gets, it gets messy. It gets, gets messy. messy. <laughs> yes and no. It depends on how each person views it. Yeah, I think it does. Is this from personal experience or no? What I've seen that, um, I've heard things like people might post certain things that can separate two people that are in love from each other. Do you know what I think? Yeah, mm -hmm. social media. When it comes to social media, yep. there's a lot of girls out here that. Uh, look at people's profile picture profiles pictures all that they get an understanding of what's going on in that person's life in it yeah, yeah, yeah. so there's girls out there that will just gold diggers you know, yeah, you know yeah. about that uh -huh, you yeah. know about gold diggers <laughs> yeah. so um obviously social media is one of them things that um without having to get to know a person mm -hmm. eventually true you know yeah bro, sure. Exactly, because they believe that everything on social media is correct, which is not necessarily true. So if one of them's immature about something and the other person's not, it's going to just ruin it, I guess. People are easy to just come along and say, right, okay, this is what this person's <laughs> on. This is what this person's yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. This is what yeah. that person's on. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's more of those things, but that's life these days, man. Yeah, man. That's life. Do you think social media ruins relationships? Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Social media can fuck up a lot of relationships. Do you know what I mean? If it's a long distance relationship, that's a good thing. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, long yeah. distance, it's a good thing. But if it's one's immature and one's not, the maturity can definitely play a negative part in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because uh, it's just more easy for people to like cheat on people. It's like less romantic. Like nowadays, like you don't meet someone in romantic circumstance. You're just like. They just like hit you up on Instagram or Snapchat, and guys always send dick pics and willy pictures. I wouldn't I don't know, know why they do it, but it's so unromantic. Like, why do they send willy pictures? I think it's open opportunities for people to meet other people, but there's also deception on social media. Oh, definitely. Uh huh. Because you don't know, you might be talking to someone and you think, oh, this is the most wonderful girl or maybe guy for someone uh -huh. that in the world, and then. Next thing you know, you meet them face to face with someone else. So you said choices, but yep. there's also dangers from social media. Yeah, definitely. Um, a lot of people flashing this and that, yeah. cars, yeah. clothes, yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. know, you get girls that come along and it, it attracts all kind of attention, you know. Yeah. The wrong kind of attention too, yeah. The wrong kind of attention. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. So describe to me a romantic way for someone to approach you. I don't know, just like walking down the street or doing like, I don't know, an activity or just something fun. But these days it's all just like, oh, guys are more interested in how many um, Instagram followers you've got than how many A-levels you've got, like seriously. You know, some, someone might be in a committed relationship or whatever and then they look at someone's profile and then they'll think that the, the grass is green on the other side. That's it, like that. yeah. that's it, man. But they might not know that, you know, that guy's car was rented. That that's guy's it. suit was rented, that's the guy's it. Rolex that's was it. rented, you know that's what I'm saying? That's it, bro. Yeah, exactly. That's You know, yeah. it, it's what the image, uh, what you see from the outside world. Yeah, looking in, you yeah. Know, looking in, you don't really know what people have got and what they haven't got, Definitely. do you know what I mean? So there, there's a lot of people that have got, well, claim they have stuff, but 
in reality, no, they don't they really. Ain't they ain't got <laughs> shit. Cause. Uh, do you think if your parents had access to IG, Snapchat, all those other social networks back in the day, do you think their relationship would have turned out any different to how it did? Um, well, they've divorced, so hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't yes. think it'd be I do. As traditional. Raw. Uh, no, I, I don't think we can, I don't care who it is if it's your mum or not, but. Instagram is Instagram, I mean, it's not, it, just, it just depends how you use it, basically. I feel like social media ruins communica like, communication between people. Like, no one talks to people anymore. People just, like, look at their phones. Well, so you can have a long relationship even with social media. That's what I, I think. So it all comes down to the person. That's what you believe? Yeah, basically. It doesn't matter if you have the, the social media, if you know what I mean. I'm stuttering right now. <laughs> so, isn't social media supposed to make communication easier? It is if you're not like together, but I feel like if two people are together at a table, you look around and there's... Oh, yeah, that's true, yeah. They're just both looking at their phones and not even talking to each other. Yeah. Don't think so. Don't think so. Like, is that in a good way or a bad way? I can't imagine them using Instagram. Okay, alright. Yeah. I'm dead at answers. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen that firsthand. I, I was, I remember, I was at uh, Nando's once. I was eating with my friend. Yeah. <laughs> I looked at the table next to me. Both, of the, both of the girl and the boy were just on their phones. And it's really frustrating if you're the only one not on your phone. You've got no one to talk to, and if you say something, they're like, "Oh, what did you say?" Actually, that's happened to me before I'm not even too. It's, to what you're saying. it's annoying, isn't it? It's yeah. So annoying. You just sit there. You're like, what's wrong? And you're like, you're not even <laughs> listening to what the fuck I'm saying. Like, exactly. God. I think their relationships would have been a lot worse, in my opinion. Because social medias are sometimes the cause of breakups, so people sometimes think, oh, it's the two people, they've had enough of each other, but sometimes it's what they've seen based on the internet. So parents having access to parents having IG and Twitter and Snapchat, things that go around in those sort of social medias, well, yeah, relationships would have been a lot worse back then. But well, they're divorced, so <laughs> it's not exactly the best In too deep. thing, yeah. <laughs> I'm not a broken child or anything. I am normal, I promise. Okay. <laughs> I think the relationships have lasted longer because you see people that are probably like 80, 70, 80 years old that are still together as long as they're both alive. But Or even 50, you see it's two, a man and a woman still together because of not having access to social media because they have to use learning. other forms of yeah. communication. And last question, since you're speaking about passwords, uh, I know some people like to give their passwords to their significant others. Do you think that's a good idea? I think some things are best kept to yourself, you know. There is such a thing as being too honest with people. And that is one of those things, I think, yeah. Private uh, keys, always good, yes. Barriers. Yeah, barriers. Barriers. Yeah. barriers. Yeah. Call or letter. Okay, Back in the day. Yeah, which, letter. Yeah. If you have that sort of social media. Pigeon you're mail. You're just like typing all like this yeah. every second of the day. Yeah. And then next thing you know, you don't even know what you're typing because of autocorrect. <laughs> yeah. My dad's going out with a stripper. He's 24. It's really disgusting. <laughs> okay! <laughs> okay, we're done here. <laughs> and as usual, guys, you can always leave your opinions in the comment section down below. Until next time. Stop the recording. Stop the recording, you punk. What's wrong with you? <laughs>